What's up, everyone? It is Ryan. I don't know who else would be on the channel, so I should maybe stop saying and announcing that I'm Ryan. You all know me by now. But I got a bunch of parts in. Uh, I started off populating the board with parts I had around, um, like these, this new old stock, uh, a couple other components, orange drops and whatever, um, and these caps. So I started populating with what I had, and then I ordered from Mauser the remaining uh, stuff that at least I think I get the best you know price from the best selection from Mauser.com, which is huge. You know, they're, that's what they do. That's their job. That's their business is selling components. Um, they also have some interesting components. So I was kind of looking. This is a new old stock. Eventually, I'm going to run out. Um, I mean, I have a bunch left over, so I'm not going to run out anytime soon. But this is a polyester new old stock, 0.22, 10%. Okay, Sprag, 600 volts. Check this out. I ordered this one for fun. This is a Vichy. 0.22, same spec, polyester, so the same dielectric in here, which is the Mojo. But look how much smaller this thing is. Um, if anyone has any experience and can under tell me if there's a tone difference based on what you know of electrical characteristics, I, I don't really know how to explain the size difference. And I know that you know, there's metallized polyester, and then some spec sheets just say polyester. So are they the same thing, or does that change the characteristic? If you are in the know on that sort of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Because um, I'm sort of on the side looking for, you know, how to make the this... A, that could be really space efficient for a future upgrade. Um, but for now, I'm just using what I have. And utilizing what Dumble used in the past. So anyway, I'm going to stop dwelling on that. But one of my favorite things from ordering for Mauser is checking out the differences and things that are out there for ordering. Um, this is really cool. I don't know why. This is so irrational. But these wire-wound 5-watt um, resistors, they, they look so close to the the white ones or like the tan ones that Dumble used on the real steel string singer number 2. Um that's, I think, my favorite part. It's totally irrational. It probably makes no difference in tone. We're going to find out. But um, my main goal was to, is to get all the same component types. And I know I mentioned this in my last video. So anywhere you see, like, these are Silver Mica. That's Silver Mica in the original. Um, going with the Sprag. They're the same model number, just newer uh, so the ones in the original, at least the gut, scot gut shot that I've seen, has the yellow uh, sprag caps. These are silver. They changed over to a silver. Uh, actually, it's clear. There's a clear wrap around it over the years. So from going from orange to that silver, yellow to that silver. Silver mica, orange drops. You know, this is a new old stock one here. I am so curious to see how this thing sounds in the end. But anyway, I want to give you guys a quick update um, on part selection. Uh, what else can I talk about? Oh, so these are really cool. So these caps right here, and they also make tw you know some uh, 22 UF. These Kemet, Ke I keep on wanting to call them Kermit, but Kemet caps, the PEG series. These are rated, okay, just so by comparison, normal uh, high long life like this, these sprags are rated for 2,000 hours, okay? These Kemet caps are rated 15,000 hours in operation and in temperature. Incredible, right? Um, that's a lot longer, and I haven't actually dove in too far, but... Assuming that these caps are available and these um, values, that could be kind of interesting for building an amp that's going to last a very long time. And one of the cool things, uh, they advertise that they're low ESR. So if you remember my other videos about ESR and noise, I mean, we can make a super, potentially super quiet power supply. Um, I'd be curious. Maybe I'll order a few next time, and I'll do a shootout 
of ESR and a bunch of other things between this and the F and T's, which are the flavor of the week for ant builders. Um, this is the cool caps, and I had good luck with them too. Uh, what else can I talk about? Here's the FET board. Super cool. This is a redesigned FET. This is a refined FET board. Um, the Steel String Singer number two had a FET board in it, and it was in the early phases of Dumble's um, FET adventures, if you will. And this is a slight deviation from the original with the more refined, the quieter version of it. You can see that the chip is a little different. It's the uh, 2N4416A. It's a very quiet FET. Um, and that's it, really. So the bias, we're going to hook up the bias pot up here, which is uh, will jump. Well, well it be in parallel to this 10K. So that will give us a bias on this amp. If you recall, the amp is fixed bias, typically. Let's see. Let's do some close-ups here since I got my camera in 4K resolution mode. Coming together really nice. Again, thick, thick traces on this one. We have a carbon composition resistor in here. You see it up there? And then over here, we have 2 watts. So the real steel string singer number two has a two watt piher, 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 uh, resistors or droloric, droloric. I don't know. I'm really bad with pronouncing things apparently. Um, so these are two watt brand new that kind of look like the old style. Pretty cool. Um, so anywhere there was a two watt, uh, Resistor, it was carbon um, film resistor on the steel string singer number two. I'm going with two watt carbon film here. We'll see. Um, RN65D in the right places, just like the real deal, just like the original. Um, from the one gut shot that I've seen, I can't tell if these are carbon um, composition as well, including this resistor up here. Um, I know it says 100K. This is 270. I, it's up to debate um, which one's better or which one's like the real deal. Um, I'm doing this one for now on. There's really, I've simulated the tone difference is uh, very slight, but I'm getting a way better sweep on the reverb, which feels like the right value now, even though I've sort of re said that it's 100K. I'm actually thinking it's more like the 270, like the schematic, based on my ears, of course. Um, if anyone out there has an Oak Cliff special, please reach out. I would love to know your thoughts and impressions and compare it against this amp that I'm building and my experience with it. Um... All right, well, that's it, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this little anatomy of the amp that's going to be. Uh, next up is ordering from uh, Amplified Parts, Tube Depot. We're going to get some more parts in, start, and, you know, finish off these boards, and then start wiring up the actual chassis. More fun to come.